So why don't you tell me a little bit about your yourself and your background, um, how you got into to law and specifically technology, uh, intellectual property? Sure. Um, so I'm an intellectual property and technology lawyer at Ropes and Gray uh, in the Silicon Valley. And um, I've just, so I, I actually knew I was going to be an intellectual property lawyer and technology lawyer uh, when I was in ninth grade. Really? I know. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I did this genomics uh, portion of bio, uh, you know, whatever ninth grade bio. And I thought it was the coolest thing. And so, uh, I, I remember I had this conversation with my dad and I was like, dad, I'm, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to go get a PhD, uh, in, uh, geno genomics and, you know, maybe then be a lawyer in the genomics space. And he was like, Oh, Marta, you don't need a PhD from that. You can just like be a lawyer yeah. and do genomics cases. Right? <laughs> you have to be a scientist yeah. and a lawyer. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so I just sort of was really, and I was like, that is incredible. So I just took a bunch of science classes. I was really interested in science in college, took a bunch of science classes, took a bunch of computer science and, um, you know, uh, oh, wow. ultimately became a, a lawyer and get to just do these cases and, you know, love technology and, you know, sort of around, uh, 2015 kind of became aware of, of this new cryptocurrency thing and got really into it and things kind of spiraled. <laughs> wow, so you knew right away. You're doing exactly what you wanted to do. I know, wow, it's super It's you. super unusual. Yeah, but I, I do. I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. What, what were you doing before this whole, you know, blockchain cryptocurrency trend came around? You said before 2015. Yeah, so I'm, so I, um, I'm, so I'm a general, generally I'm a IP litigator at Ropes and Gray. Um, and so I also do intellectual property litigation. Um, and one of the things that is actually what got me into blockchain is um, the thing that I was sort of uh, focusing on is patent pledges. Um, so the way that companies um, can patent things, um, patent their ideas, mm -hmm. and then actually within their industry sort of license it to each other mm -hmm. so that everyone has access to the technology, um, but people are still able to protect their ideas, like how you strike that balance. And um, there was a blockchain industry group that was trying to figure out how to, how, to, how to do that. There were so many blockchain patents and they were trying to figure out how you actually, how you actually are able to patent blockchain in a way that comports with the ideals of open source. Right. Right? Because on the one hand, it's open source technology. On the right. other hand, yeah. Right. And we'll get into all this. I, I find it super fascinating. I mean, this whole blockchain thing has just like exploded in the last couple of years and it's still just in the beginning. I Absolutely. Like. So I think we were all like super uh, excited to find like a lawyer that specializes in blockchain and especially intellectual property regarding that. Um, so, so can you tell us a little bit about like what your, is your whole firm, uh, technology rooted? Uh, so it's a large law firm mm -hmm. and, um, we have lots of different practice groups and the practice group I'm in is the intellectual property mm. litigation group. Um, and so we're across, um, offices all over the United States. Um, we have offices around the world. It's a pretty, pretty big Boston based, uh, law firm from like the 1800s. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of a contrast with the technology. So we didn't start off as a blockchain. Uh... <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. But <laughs> I'd be super impressed if it was. Um, do you, so is technology kind of like a subcategory within the intellectual property, um, category? Um, so there are a couple of us in the group um, that do blockchain related work. And um, we also do blockchain related work at the firm in other practice groups. So there are other practice groups that focus on, for example, securities, like investments, mm. um, funds that represent companies in those types of endeavors in the blockchain space. How is your firm and all the, the people that are kind of taking blockchain into consideration, um, how are they handling this new frontier, especially like when it first started, you know, when you were saying around 2015? Um, I think the thing that's so great about Ropes and Gray is um, they're all, these are people who are just really interested in technology. Like our technology group, our intellectual property group are just people who are fascinated by this stuff and just oh, like good. love doing the work. And so um, a lot of them have just been really curious and open-minded about blockchain um, and everyone, you know, has been really, really supportive of, you know, the work that um, the people who are doing blockchain at Ropes and yeah. Gray, you know, are doing. And, and I think they just see it as a really interesting new frontier that they're excited to be a part of. Have you guys had a lot of cases with this? Because I can't imagine there's a lot of precedent for these types of 
cases, right? Yeah, so um, right now what we're doing is a lot of advising companies, um, particularly um, in the intellectual property and also the policy spaces. Uh, and uh, so at this point, we have not, I have not personally handled the litigation mm -hmm. involving blockchain, um, though I think the likelihood that uh, we go, you know, a significant amount of time without some sort of intellectual property litigation in the blockchain space is low. Um, yeah. A lot of people are predicting sort of blockchain patent wars coming. And yeah. um, so at this point, luckily, not a lot of litigation there. Um, and there is a lot of litigation in already in the sort of securities area. Um, so, you know, investments and, and whether um, creating a new coin is, mm -hmm. an, you know, a, is creating a security. So there, there is a lot of litigation there that, that I personally am not handling. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.